Nigel and Mary panic Larry truly breathes bad air. Hi, I'm Hayley from Parallel Coaching and in this video we're going to explore the passage of air during inspiration and expiration. So breathing in and breathing out. And in order to do that, I'm going to share with you a mnemonic to make it really easy to remember that sequence of airflow. Before we dive into the content of today's video, just to let you know there is mock questions to test your knowledge on everything I'm gonna talk about today. If you're on our blog, you literally just scroll down and you'll be able to find three mock questions that relate to this content. Or if you're not on our blog yet, just click the link and it will take you straight there. So let's dive into the content and understand what a mnemonic is. So a mnemonic is a pattern or a story or an acronym whereby it is a wordplay or arrangement of words that basically allows you to remember something better or more efficiently. And this is really useful in your exam because quite often what will happen, and then let me know in the comments below if you feel this same thing, but this is whereby you kind of freeze on exam day when it asks you a question and you kind of end up jumping to conclusions based on the answers that are given rather than necessarily really remembering and understanding, especially if it's a sequence. So like digestive system sequence or the passage of air and how airflow goes in during inhalation and comes back out during exhalation. So how do we remember that and make sure we got it in the right order? And that's where we're going to use this mnemonic. Now, this mnemonic is a story. So you need to imagine that there are two parents, one called Nigel, one called Mary, and they have a son called Larry. Now, Larry goes out and he works in the mines um, where he's mining for coal and he's always breathing the, the air that's inside these mine shafts and they worry about his lung health. That's the story. Now, the way to remember it is Nigel and Mary panic. Larry truly breathes bad air. There are our sort of main points of the story. And what you need to do is write down the first letter of each of those. So Nigel and Mary panic, Larry truly breathes bad air. And you should have written down the side now, N-M-P-L-T-B-B-A. Okay, so each of these stand for a, a, a role and a function that that role has or a part of the respiratory system as we go through from inhalation down to exhalation. So let's start off with the inhalation uh, process, which is going down in order. So first of all, N stands for nose. So we know that nose is one of the main ways that we take uh, oxygen that's in the air and through our nose, well, that then allows us to filter, warm and moisten the air to get it ready to enter the respiratory tract. The mouth is also how, if we're not primarily using the nose, which is the main way of taking inhalation, we can also breathe in through our mouths as well. So you've got both ways, so Nigel and Mary, both parents, okay? Nose and mouth. Then they panic Larry. So this is how we make sure these are the right way around. And often people can get confused because they sound similar. Pharynx is next. And that uh, starts with a P, so pharynx. Now this is whereby it's like the cone-shaped space at the back between the nose and the mouth, at the back of the throat. And that basically warms and humidifies the air before entering the lungs but then it needs to go through the larynx. Now, this is whereby it's the only part that is now different to what we'd have with the digestive system. Because when we're eating food and drinking uh, drink, we basically go still through our mouth, then we go still through the pharynx, but then it goes in a different path. Now we go down and work with the larynx. Now, the larynx has a really important role because it protects the lower airways from any other obstructions but it also is useful for making sounds. That's how we make phonics. That's what we use our larynx for. It's also where we cough from, so any coughing noises, and it controls ventilation. But on, so, alongside that, it also creates the valve salva maneuver. So if you were to hold your breath and then try and breathe out against that holding, that creates this valve salva maneuver, which creates pressure and an increase in blood pressure. Um, quite dramatically but that can be used for bracing it can be used when you're maybe doing like a heavy deadlift or something and you've got to brace and pull up we'll quite often use the valve salver as a bracing method and the larynx has a key role in that so we've gone from the nose the and mouth panic it was pharynx and then larynx was next then we're from here moving down into the trachea now the trachea is about 11 centimeters long it's basically a long tube that goes down uh, from our larynx all the way down level with our fifth thoracic vertebra 
And at that point, that is the role of it is to be an unobstructed tube. It's just got to be a nice, long, easy access line all the way down through for the air to rush through. Then it breaks off into two bronchi. Now, these are basically like branches off of a tree. So if you imagine that the trachea is the trunk of the tree, then from there you'll have main big branches. This is the bronchi. And you've got a left bronchi and a right bronchi, or left bronchus, right bronchus. And they create, their basically role is to split the oxygen into both our left and our right side of our lungs. So you've got those two separate sections. Then from the bronchus, they break into bronchioles. Now, bronchioles are basically like the smaller branches on a tree. So they come from the big branch and then they break off into these small little branches, which basically allows us to get as much surface area as possible in our lungs. So the more of these bronchioles that we have all darted off and, and sort of branching out, that allows us to access more area inside our lungs. But the key part is now the alveoli, which is the final part of this system. So in the alveoli, these are like little, little air sacs and they look like grapes basically, but these little air sacs have got capillaries all the way around them. And this is whereby our oxygen now is no longer just in our respiratory system, it's gonna move into our cardiovascular system. So we end up with these little air sacs and we breathe in, the sacs fill up with air, and then from that point where they fill up with air, we've got all these capillaries around it. So gaseous exchange occurs, whereby oxygen goes out into the capillaries, hops the gap, and that process is called diffusion as it goes across that barrier into the capillaries. These are really tiny blood vessels that can then carry that oxygen off and join the cardiovascular system to allow us to circulate oxygen around the body. Then on an exhalation, the same happens in reverse, but this time carbon dioxide comes from those capillaries, goes into the alveoli, fills up the alveoli, and we go back up our mnemonic story. So we go alveoli, bronchioles, bronchus, trachea, then we go into the larynx, the pharynx, and then the nose and mouth. So our inhalation is then directly opposing as we go back into exhalation. So you have these two clear pathways but all you need to remember is one story nigel and mary panic larry truly breathes bad air jot that down when you're in your exam and it will really help you remember that passage of air both for inhalation and for exhalation if you do want to go and test your knowledge now based on everything that we've spoken about today remember to go and follow the link that is with this video so that you can use those three mock questions to test your knowledge if you're looking for more help with your anatomy and physiology then make sure that you check out our revision mastery boot camp that is also on the link provided in this video and this will really help detail the all the different areas that you need to know for that exam both at level two and or at level three, which allows you to prepare for the exam maximally so you can be confident that you've learnt and memorised everything that you need to ready to pass. That's everything for today. Please do drop a comment below with uh, your big takeaway from today and what you really enjoyed about this video. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.